And then the goblin is standing on the edge of his castle, trying to capture the knight in his dungeon. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I seem to be lost. That's a very unique looking tree over there. The plan is working perfectly. What interesting bark. Oh. Hey! Gotcha, big boy. Wow! What happened? The goblin was laughing so hard that he slipped and he got hurt. Yowgee, I'm hurt. Oh, Barbie. <laughs> Poor little goblin. We need someone to help him. Perhaps the king can help him. If you let me go, that is. There's got to be another option. Anyone? Hello, I am Dr. Snoozer. Nice to meet you, Monsieur Ogre. This goblin has fallen and can't get up. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Let me see what I have in my doctor bag. Snoozer, don't you think Dr. Dan would be a little more helpful in this situation? Maybe, Checkers. But Dr. Dan is busy battling in the Northern Army in the World Fortress. Alrighty then. Let me check your heartbeat with my snazzy trunk. A real doctor would use a stethoscope to check the heartbeat. But you know what? What? I'm just a pretend doctor. What? So Snoozer does a full examination and he finds that the goblin has a broken leg. leg is broken. We need to give you a cast. Watch this. I feel much better. Oh, goody good. Hey, Dr. Snoozer. I've got this crick in my neck. It's really bothering me. I've got the same thing. And Snoozer takes care of all the patients. The end. Great job, Snoozer. It's nice that that had a happy ending. Yes, I like being a doctor. It is fun to help other people. Yeah, it's fun to pretend you're a doctor. And it's fun to learn more about real doctors. Yes, Dr. Dan has taught me some stuff, like the tools doctors use and stuff. Snoozer, would you like to learn more about doctors today? That would be great! All right, well, let's get ready then. It is time for another reading road trip. Belt. Check. Backpack? Check, check. All right, snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? Okay, Snoozer, well, it is time for your three hints. Hint number one, you go there a few times a year. Hint number two, you get a sticker when you go there. And hint number three, Dr. Dan is there right now. Dr. Dan is a firefighter, but I don't get stickers at the fire department. Oh, are we going to a doctor's office? Yes, Snoozer, we're going to a doctor's office to meet with Dr. Dan for your checkup. Oh, I remember those. I like seeing Dr. Dan. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. And while we're on our journey, we're going to also be learning all about doctors and nurses and different people that take care of our health. Let me pull up the map. We are headed to Dr. Dan's office. Along the way, we're going to stop with Mrs. Hamilton, your teacher, and do a fun craft. Oh, nice. I wonder what the craft will be. Yeah, we have a ton of fun plans, Snoozer. Hey, look! Here come the books! Let's check out a couple. What'd we get, Checkers? Here you go, Snoozer. Community Helpers, Nurses, by Christina Leaf. And here comes Dr. Hippo, by Jonathan London. 
Oh, cool. Well, nurses are a great topic for today because when you go to a doctor's office, you might meet with a nurse. And this book teaches us all about them. Nurses assist doctors in providing us with health care, looking for signs of injury or sickness, and giving medicine to sick patients. So anyone who may want to become a nurse one day should read this book. And even if you don't want to become a nurse, it's helpful to learn more about what they do. Great! I will read that book later! Yeah, and I think when people read this book, they'll realize that nurses and doctors are just people trying to make sure we're staying healthy. And there's nothing to be afraid about when we go to the doctor's office. And anyway, speaking of nurses, how would you like to make a nurse craft with Mrs. Hamilton? Oh, that sounds like fun! Yeah, alright, well let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton right now and make your nurse craft. Hi, Mrs. Hamilton! Well, hello, snoozer. Today we're going to be making a fun little craft that reminds us all to follow one of the basic rules. If you cough or sneeze, you should cover up please. So, today's craft is a fun bear nurse, and that bear nurse is going to be holding a tissue where you'll see it as I put it together, okay? So, we need this sheet. First step, cut out all the pieces. So, let's get started. Let's see. So, the bear nurse is going to be holding out his or her hands. We got to add some eyes and the nose. Got to have my black crayon ready. All right. I'm just gonna make a smile or a mouth. All right, now for the tissue. So I'm gonna put a little glue in there, kind of scrunch this up. Maybe add a few little details. All right, and then we've got these words. If you cough or sneeze, cover up please. Let's remember, if you need to cough or sneeze, you should cover up, please. A good, simple, easy rule to follow that all nurses like to tell us to remember. All right, let me see yours. Here's what I did. Ah, looks great. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Boys and girls, would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own snoozer. Come and see me! Anyway, back to the show. Checkers, my nurse, and it's a bear. I see that, Snoozer. That's great. You did an awesome job with that. Thank you. Now I've read a nurse book and made a nurse. Is the other book about a doctor? Sort of. The second book is called Here Comes Dr. Hippo, and it's about a little hippo who's just pretending to be a doctor. Oh, I like to pretend. Sometimes I pretend that I'm a firefighter, even though I have no formal training. Well then, perfect snoozer, Little Hippo travels around the jungle and visits different animals. But as he tries to give them checkups, everything goes wrong, and Little Hippo gets a little bit frightened. But luckily, he has someone to take care of him and make him feel better. It's fun to pretend we're grown-ups while we're kids, but usually, it's nice to be able to go back to being a kid. Oh good! I like hippos! Checkers, do you think I can grow up to be a hippo? No, snoozer, you will not grow up to be a hippo. Okay, then maybe I will turn into an owl, or just be a bigger robot vacuum. Oh, Snoozer, look! We've arrived! Cool! Wait a minute! We're back home! 
That's right, Snoozer. But I thought we were going to a doctor's office. Well, we sort of are going to the doctor's office, except the doctor's office today is going to be right inside the invention lab. And Dr. Dan will be your doctor. He'll explain everything to you in just a second, Snoozer. Well, let's park down here in three, two, one. Well, Snoozer, the invention lab today is our waiting room. We're waiting for Dr. Dan to arrive. I still don't get why we're in the invention lab. <laughs> Looks like he's ready, Snoozer. Well, I'm sure Dr. Dan will explain all that to you. And I'll see you in just a minute. Hey, Snoozer, it's good to see you. Nice to see you, Dr. Dan. But what are you doing in my house? Well, Snoozer, I thought for your appointment we would do things the old-fashioned way. Doctors actually used to go to their patients in their house. They called it a house call. Nowadays, most of the time, patients come to see the doctor. But I came to your house just for you. Oh, cool. Well, it's time for your appointment, Snoozer. Let's get going. Ooh. Robotic. <laughs> that tickles. I have big kahuna eyes. Don't you think? Snoozer, you got something in your ear. Which one? The left one that. Hey, that's silly. All right, Snoozer, we're all set. Everything looks great. Woohoo! Now, you don't need any shots for this visit, but the next time I see you, you need a few shots, okay? Okay. I used to be afraid of shots, but now I know they help me. That's right, Snoozer. I'm really proud of you. And don't forget, shots just aren't about keeping you safe, but everyone around you safe. And don't ever forget, Snoozer, you're never too old for a sticker at the doctor's office. Yahoo! My sticker! I'll catch you later. <laughs> hey, how'd it go, Snoozer? It went great! I'm super duper healthy, and I got a sticker! Hey, look at that! Fantastic! Checkers, what does this sticker say? Well, Snoozer, on this sticker, it says what we're going to be doing pretty soon. We're going to be going on a new adventure, learning new things, and going to amazing places. But what does it say on it? Oh, well, Snoozer. It says, The Reading Road Trip. 